one second here. All right, so Select is going to be your blue Terran player here in the sort of 3 o'clock position on Lost Temple. He did pick this map, so hopefully he has a plan going for him into this game as we saw in Game 1. OGS the SCT just dispatched his uh, all of his har harassments pretty, pretty readily. And of course, OGS the SCC is going to be your red Terran here in the 6 o'clock position on Lost Temple. These guys spawning in very, very close rush distances. Yeah, and I'm back. So yeah, like you were saying, very, very true. I'm going to have to give the edge to the STC considering what we've seen from his games all day so far. He seems to be more on top of the aggression and yeah. just seems to hit his timing so well. And it's really getting into the head of Select, I think. He's lost a good four games to one in the entire tournament series to the STC. Yeah. And I'm not sure whether it's getting to him or not, but it definitely did seem like he was on the back foot the entire game last, last time. I have to say, every time OGS the STC attacks... It's not just one attack. There's always something going on. Um, maybe a harassment a search, or a drop in the back. He doesn't attack, never attacks on one front unless he knows he can just completely steamroll his opponent on that one front. So just impressive, impressive tactical play. And of course, uh, mechanic play by um, OGS the SET. Yeah, definitely. I don't know. It Pretty much the, the generalization we've seen from the STC so far has been have his solid one one racks expand build and then from there he's adapted to what Select has done. But most of the time Select is also drawn for fast banshees. Mm -hmm. And the build that the STC has been using pretty much hard, or I wouldn't say hard counters, but it's been very, very effective versus it. He hasn't seemed to take any damage at all whenever it happens. Yeah, And he just seems to always come out ahead. So... I don't know, I think Select needs to change up a couple of things if he wants to to make a difference, I think. Yeah, definitely. And like you said, w what are they, like 4-1 in this tournament or something? Yeah, I believe in the upper bracket finals when they met, they were 3-1 in favor of the STC. Um, so now we're 1-0, so long road for Select to come back. Yeah, Select's got to pull something out of his hat um, from what I'm hearing to, just to take this one off of uh, OG, the STC. And um, we're going to see what he can do on Lost Temple. Uh, SCV getting just picked uh, apart by this one Marine in the middle of the map. Going to get ushered away home. Going to move out with two Marines and one SCV and try to take out this Marine from OGS the SCC. However, OGS gone for an earlier uh, expansion, so he doesn't want to lose his Marines early on. It's got to be very, very hard-pressed uh, to keep his units alive. Yeah, definitely. You guys go on for that one ga one racks expand like we were talking about earlier, and it looks like we're having the same build from Select. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. It, it hasn't seemed to work for him. Like, yeah. He has been tweaking it, so it's been working a little bit better each time. True. I don't know. It, it just doesn't seem wise to me to do the same build that's just failed you a few times. Obviously, he might not be going for Banshees, and if he doesn't, then I'll just shut up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it just seems seems very familiar. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I I mean, I hope Select can do something or maybe he found a small timing window with this build that he can abuse oh moving with with uh four marines but gonna be get met with this bunker gonna uh, get ushered away not gonna be able to do anything whatsoever with these four marines select's got to rely on whatever tech he's going for i mean he's pr i'm i want to say he's going ravens but i also don't want to see him go ravens just because like he said just doesn't seem to work against ogs the uh, stc uh, he just readily dispatches any sort of Banshee harassment. Looks like he's floating the factory. He might be going for this Banshee. He probably definitely will. There we go. Start to decide where to plant the factory. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. sorry, move the landing place when I twice. And STC and... totally scouts this out. Still going for it. And here comes Banshee. Yep. We're going to see how well this works. I mean, looks like he's going for the cloak as well. So maybe he can use that but OGS the SCT is totally ready for this he saw that so he's gonna be saving up scans and never mind he's not really getting cloaked but he does have quite a lot of gas saved up perhaps he's going for a tank yeah he does have quite a few marines pushing out though he does take out all the marines for the STC the STC has actually changed it up though he hasn't thrown down heaps of barracks he's instead gone for a viking and a tank so he's definitely mixing it up so he's gonna try to direct counter this by going for that faster viking um, there is a medevac now being built after this Banshee for Select, so this Banshee's sole purpose is probably just harassment. Gonna get shut down by the Viking, unfortunately. 
coming in from um, OGS the SCC. Select now, trying to take his expansion with this Banshee out on the field, trying to give him some more map control. Oh, Mike catches this tank out of position. That could be huge. Yeah, I think he might actually get it. He's bringing oh, the no, Viking over, no. but there is no cloak for Select. He actually, I, he must have gotten uh, started and then cancelled, and the, the Banshee goes down, unfortunately, with zero kills, and that is definitely going to be a mental blow. That just turned that around. Yeah, like you said, if he took out that siege tank, I mean, that would have been great for him, but he just the reinforcements from uh, OGS the SEC just completely turned that around, taking out the Banshee instead for Select, and so now Select's got to be feeling pretty, pretty pressured. Mm. Alrighty, so we do have a drop by the looks of it for Marines and a tank. Does uh, I'm trying to have a look to see. The siege mode is done for Select, so he might be able to drop that cliff, but oh my god, oh look my at that. Gosh. The SEC... He's STC. actually going to catch him unaware. He's going to be able to drop a couple of those units, but he's still going to get the dropship, and he does. He can't land those Vi Vikings, though. Otherwise, the tank is just going to ch chew through that. And I think he's taking the advantage of this, and he's actually going for the offensive. There's one tank and five Marines here. It does have siege mode, but he's, look, he's running right is into he? it. There we go. <laughs> Not bothering to siege up at all. Going to wipe this out. And I think OGS the SDC has this, this uh, despite having his uh, natural expansion breached. And I have to say, sending his Vikings that way, just knowing the timings of these drops, just amazing. Whether it was sheer go, luck or not. Yeah. Pulling SCVs. Oh my god, the tank has 5 HP. Oh. It does finally go down. These tanks doing the best they can to deal with these SCVs. He's actually dropped one of the Vikings on the ground, because he cannot take two of the Vikings up there. Uh, all the units being dropped now. And Siege Mode and now for the STC gets a lot of SCVs. And now... The STC does have one extra base. Well, it will soon to be one extra base, but let's have a look at the income count. 41 to 19. The STC also gets uh, quite a few more kills with this siege tank, and he's actually got all but one of the Vikings. Oh. He's sitting at 54 supply to 38, so definitely taking a decisive lead right now. Yeah. Man, I can't believe... But the one thing is, OGS the SEC, his natural expansion is still under assault by this one siege tank from Select. So, um, whereas Select is going to get his natural expansion up and running soon, OGS the SEC still has to clean this up. But I think he's going to be able to right now, since he's going to pop his medevac full of marines and tanks and drop right on top of this and clean things up here. It definitely has another truck drives past your house. Yeah. <laughs> so we do see... By the looks of it, the FCC's cleared out that tank. There's one one Viking from Select. I think he's going to try and drop it, but there's Marines there to deal with that, doing a lot of damage. Vikings take surprisingly a, a long amount of time to kill Marines. Yeah. Uh, to me, but Ooh, okay. it does end up going down. We've got two more Vikings. Uh, a little force here from Select coming in the front of the natural. There's siege. To, uh, there's a siege tank on the top of the cliff on the right, but he's actually picked it up. Might be going for a drop to uh, just be as annoying to Select as he was to him earlier. But a third base is almost completed for the STC, and he's getting a second factory as well. More barracks, he just seems to be so on top of the game today. Medivac drop coming down in the natural expansion for Select. He's going to do the same thing that Select was trying to do to him. And this siege tank might pick off a couple of mules. First shot going down on the mule. Taking out the mules is going to be huge for Select. He just needs that income. And just looking at the forces of Select, he just doesn't have that much. He's just a skeleton crew of just a smattering of a little bit of everything and not too much of anything. And, um, I mean, he's trying to get things done with what he has. And look at this. Oh, drop my it. God. Yeah, drop the, it. The, um... <laughs> How did that not win? Hmm? Two Vikings versus a tank, and he had to end up forcing to lift it up. And there's unfortunately a tank in the wrong position. Getting caught out of position there. There is almost nothing to defend Select's base. He's got one tank and a few Marines, but yeah, not in position at all. He might actually take out this expansion. Yeah, I think this is going to be it for Select. He just really has no units on the ground right now. Two Vikings in the air, then that's about it. He can't even land them. And there we go, that's the GG coming in from Select. So he's going to be down 0-2. This is going to be an almost impossible road for Select to come up, I would say. I mean, I don't want to call it, say anything, that anything's possible, but it's going to be... SCC looks like a huge favorite right now. Yeah, it's going to be infinitely tough for Select to come back from this now. This is a best of five. It is.